All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the alleged leak of more than 1 billion Chinese citizens' personal data, one of the potential largest in history. This is actually a pretty important video because when we're talking about a data breach this massive, I mean, I think it really kind of speaks for itself just how important something like this can be. I mean, a billion people, obviously, is just a staggering amount. Like, I didn't even know that it was possible to get the information of a billion people through means like this. I did not think that that would be possible, but there's also a pretty massive alleged cover-up going on of this information by the Chinese authorities, which obviously isn't surprising considering what their government does and how they kind of operate and everything, but I think everyone can kind of see the worry in this situation when we're talking about a billion people being affected, why this could be such a major issue, why this should be something that people should pay attention to. But in case you don't, we'll be talking about that in this video. So, Chinese authorities are reportedly scrambling to quiet online discussion of the alleged leak of more than 1 billion Chinese citizens' personal data, a breach that experts say could be among the largest in history. Speculation surged over the weekend on Chinese social media platforms such as Weibo and WeChat after a hacker who self-identified as China Dan offered to sell a massive 23 terabyte trove of data purportedly pilfered from a police database in Shanghai. The data hall purportedly contains sensitive personal information ranging from names and addresses to criminal history and ID numbers. The hacker responsible for the apparent breach sought to sell the information for 10 Bitcoin or the equivalent of about $200,000 according to a post on breach forums. However, posts and hashtags linked to discussions about the validity of the alleged hack were reportedly stifled shortly after they emerged. Widely used hashtags such as data leak and 1 billion citizens records leak are no longer accessible on Weibo on Tuesday, the Financial Times reported. So, for those of you who don't understand these data leaks, these actually happen all the time and pretty much no company is really safe from them. Pretty much any company can get hit by one of these data leaks. And it's when a hacker will unauthorized go into the personal records that these companies or these places have amassed on their customers or users or whatever it may be. In this instance, it was a police database. They steal all of the information that they got unauthorized access from, and then they go and sell it on places like the dark web and get money for it, right? Because obviously your personal data has a price tag. It's something that can be bought and it's something that it does have value. You wonder how you always get all those spam calls on your phone all the time, or you get those stupid text messages and emails that are obviously scams? Well, a lot of it has to do with your personal information being leaked and sold in methods like this. And it's honestly a very annoying problem. I mean, the internet has given us a lot of great things to love and do and just, you know, interact with, but it's also given us this kind of problem. And obviously, we're still pretty much in the early times of dealing with this kind of stuff. These things have been happening for a while now, but it's a constant game of of cat and mouse you know whenever any security flaw is found it's quickly patched up but I mean obviously you're not going to be able to patch every single security issue on every single website and in every single database so hackers like China Dan are able to go through and steal in instances like this and in this instance 1 billion people's data is up for sale which is like one eighth of the entire global population which I don't think people realize just how staggering this leak is but a billion people is an absolutely jaw-dropping amount of people to have their data leak. This is going to end up being one of the largest data leaks in history, and, well, the Chinese government is covering it up. So, obviously, the Chinese Communist Party are known for their very overbearing restrictions on free speech and information and whatnot inside of their country. The internet is extremely suppressed. There's the Great Firewall that the Chinese use to basically control every aspect of online life for Chinese citizens. So, it's kind of at this point where if a situation like this happens, the Chinese government is simply going to cover it up, which is actually quite literally the worst response possible to a situation like this. But when you're in full control like the Chinese authorities are, and you can pretty much do whatever you want inside of this country, obviously they're going to do what makes them look the least bad, right? That makes them look best as possible. They don't want people to know that their databases are flawed, that their databases are unsecure, that the police in this country have databases that can be easily accessed and stolen from. 
Because obviously that makes it look like the amount of power that the Chinese government really has, it makes it look like it's a lot worse, right? It makes it look like they aren't in control, at least to a complete extent, like they want to make it off. It makes it look like they have vulnerabilities and weaknesses that can be exploited into the Chinese Communist Party. That is literally worse than death, to be made a fool of or to look like they are, you know, got egg on their face or something from a situation like this. They would literally rather suppress the truth, suppress this information, and let Chinese citizens live their life in ignorance than to let them know of the severity of the situation, to let them know the full details of a situation like this, and allow them to really react and respond. Now, one of the things about these kinds of leaks, right, is you want that information to be as widely known as possible. That way, potentially affected people can change the sensitive information that is leaked in these kinds of things. For instance, if your Facebook account gets hacked in a big data breach or something, and now your Facebook password and email are basically just circulating on the internet, people with bad intentions could purchase that information and use it for nefarious purposes. And one of the reasons why these data breaches are taken so seriously and so widely announced and monitored here in the Western world is we want people to get their sensitive information changed so that the information in the data breaches are essentially worthless or at least a lot less usable than they were before. In this instance, obviously, this is personal information. We're talking about home addresses, phone numbers, your IDs that the government basically given you in these databases, your criminal history, these aren't things that can be as easily changed, which is a problem with this. But even then, that doesn't really justify the crackdown of information in this situation that is going to lead to more ignorant people and lead to people not knowing that this is an issue, which is horrible in a modern world, in a modern society, where your information can be so easily accessed by bad actors. This is exactly what you don't want to do. You want people knowing about this stuff. But if you're the Chinese government, obviously, uh, the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to suppressing this information. If confirmed, the data leak would be one of the most extensive hacks on record. The entire Chinese population consists of about 1.4 billion residents. A breach could also increase scrutiny on Chinese authorities. Zhao Chengpeng, the CEO of cryptocurrency firm Binance, said that his firm had detected 1 billion resident records for sale in the dark web. He added the information was available likely due to a bug in the Elasticsearch deployment by a government agency. The Binance CEO did not specifically reference China or the Shanghai Police Department. So at this point, man, obviously this is a pretty bad situation. The majority of the Chinese population's information likely is involved in this leak if the numbers are true, if everything we know about this so far is true. This would be the equivalent of like 250 million Americans' personal information, including their social security numbers, their phone numbers, their home addresses, their criminal histories, everything basically went up for sale. It's a very serious situation, and it appears to me, and probably to many other people too, that the Chinese government is not doing what needs to be done to address this situation. The Chinese government is basically stepping back and sweeping their hands off like they have no involvement in the matter, when in all likelihood, it's probably their fault that this situation happened to the extent that it did in in the first place. They are probably responsible for the systems in place that were meant to protect that information, or at least the government in China to a certain extent likely is responsible for all of this, given that it was the Shanghai police that this all allegedly came from. So with that being said though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video guys, this is Optimus, well, talking about the great Chinese data leak and signing out.